As a major mobile gamer, I am very happy to say that we are finally at a place where mobile games are kind of catching up with the consoles, and even some PC games in terms of gameplay quality, and all-around fun factor. And for some of these gems, you don't even need an internet connection. That's right, it's more offline games. Hey guys, it's your main man Faraz, and I'm back again with another list of 10 best offline games of the month. If you enjoy our videos, please give me a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to Game Zone. So starting off with, number 10, Dark Rise. Dark Rise is a classic hardcore game that was created by two different indie developers in a nostalgic pixel style. In this action RPG, you get acquainted with three characters, Alice, Godric, and Kira. Each of them has their own unique abilities, game mechanics, and features. There are 20 locations to play on in six different difficulties, where enemies will spawn in front of you, or will appear from portals that appear randomly on the arena every few seconds. You gotta fight these enemies, and collect the precious items, which will help you to improve the abilities of your characters. This one is a chaotic good time, a mess in the best way. Number 9, Survival Z. This is a roguelike tower defense hybrid survival game, where you start off as a survivor trying to save humanity across different runs. It has simple controls as you plan out your traps and weapon placement before the waves of zombies try to get at you. You can use touch controls or controllers, but the touch controls do feel really great. As you defeat the waves of zombies, you can unlock currency and items that you can use to improve future runs, and it has some nice story moments sprinkled in as well. Number 8. Dive Inside If you ever wanted to be a deep sea explorer, then Dive Inside is totally for you. It's a simple but interesting game where you will cruise through the depths of the sea and explore the nature as you try on the role of a treasure hunter who has agreed to a dangerous mission to find some mysterious objects. So the main thing you have to take care of in this game is your oxygen level because, as I found out the hard way, when your sub runs out of air, it will shoot up towards the surface, smashing into anything above you, and you die. Number 7. Unruly Heroes This is an action-adventure PC game that is now available for mobile devices as well. Unruly Heroes is a gorgeous action platformer that oozes charm. The single-player story mode is an absolute gem that I will undoubtedly revisit time and time again. The simplistic gameplay combined with a cast of four well-designed and unique characters makes for a fantastic experience that stands out from other platform games. Even combat is quite enjoyable as you can mix up combos and even juggle your enemies. Even switching characters mid-combo presents a lot of possibilities. Number 6. Jetpack 2 Fans of Jetpack Joyride can be delighted that the second part of the game has finally been released by Half Brick Studios. So, Jetpack Joyride 2 is pretty similar to the first. You play as Berry Steak Fries, participate in a laboratory filled with dangers, try to defeat the bad guys, and find a way out. Initially, you're equipped with a jet rocket tank that will help you dodge obstacles on the way towards a successful finish. Number 5. Racing Experience this is an extreme racing game that'll have you soaring around corners trying to get an edge against your opponents. It comes with different difficulties based on skill level. The game is full of content, including over 80 cars from various manufacturers, various game modes like career, quick race, challenge, and practice mode. Also, the game features great customization options for your ride with spoilers, rims, neons, tint, custom paints, and wraps. Along with all that, the game features dynamic weather effects and a day and night system where you can race on various tracks and highways. Overall, it's a great game, and you should definitely try this one if you got the need for speed. Number 4. The Haunted Consulate This is a horror game that takes place in a fictional consulate where the player's sole purpose is to escape through the unlocking of doors. But you can only carry one item at a time other than your candle. So you gotta make a plan and think about what items you're gonna need first. There are also several nooks in the game hidden away where you can try and hide, but the ghost will drag you out if it sees you entering. Overall, it's a great horror game with graphics to give you goosebumps. Number 3. Squirrel Simulator 2 If you like open-world adventure games, Squirrel Simulator 2 might be the right choice for you. The game has a huge open world set in a forest ruled by various animal kingdoms. Your main job is to collect acorns, mushrooms, and berries to replenish your family and improve your character or buy a new hollow. You can climb trees and glide from tree to tree, experiencing the life of a clever rodent. Besides, you'll engage in exciting adventures, including fighting in the royal arena against other real players. Outside of combat, you can find yourself a soulmate, 
get married, and have a family to defend against enemies. With various character options available, like an astronaut, a knight, or lightning, it's a great game worth checking out at least once. Number 2. Wrestling Empire It's been a long time since a truly brilliant wrestling game has been available on the Play Store, but it seems like that wait is finally over. Wrestling Empire is one of the best offline games I've ever played on my mobile device. It's not an official WWE game, but it does have a lot of potential that makes this game extremely exciting. In the game, you create your own star and embark on a career to encounter up to 350 opponents across 10 different rosters in the sport's most epic shared universe. The game features story cut scenes and lots of moves you can perform by using special key combinations. Overall, it's a great game. Don't judge a book by its cover, it's so much fun. Number 1. Kill It With Fire So, if you don't like spiders, then I think it's safe to say that the creator of this game pretty much feels the same. It's a game entirely about killing spiders through any means necessary. And when I say any means necessary, that includes guns, grenades, ninja stars, a weed whacker, and yes, even fire. You have to chase them around, shooting, swatting, or burning everything in your path, or just blow up a whole gas station to kill the spiders. Kill It With Fire has been very well received since it launched on PC last August, and now it's available on mobile for free with some paid unlocks. So there you have it, the top 10 best offline games of the month. I'm Faraz from GameZone, don't forget to subscribe.